Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 7th. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take you guys into our e-learning materials for the week of April 6th. And I want to show you what's going on today for Tuesday, April 7th. Um, we're going to have the same standard that we had yesterday. And I didn't really talk about it yesterday because I was so busy being outside. Um, but our standard is that we're going to construct a scientific explanation based on evidence for the role of photosynthesis in the cycling of matter and flow of energy into and out of organisms. And so for just the first couple days, you guys just need to know what photosynthesis is before you can come up with some kind of a, um, an understanding of how that affects the cycling of matter and the flow of energy into and out of organisms. Our objective today is we're going to watch a short video on YouTube and then the student will demonstrate their understanding of what photosynthesis is and why it's so important. Uh, you guys are going to watch a short video, and then I've got an essay question on Schoology. And when I say essay, I just mean a paragraph. You guys are going to use race to answer a paragraph. So your homework is to watch the video and to answer the essay question. Let's go ahead and get in here. Um, I'm going to have up here will be my little um, video that I'm doing right now. But the next thing you guys are going to do is go ahead and follow this link to watch photosynthesis in plants. I don't think it's more than five minutes long. When you're finished with that, then you're going to come into this photosynthesis understanding question. Now when I click into this, it's going to look different than what you guys are going to see. So I'm going to click this preview and hopefully this is what you see. Um, you will see a question. It says using race write a short paragraph that supports the following question. Remember, restate, answer, cite evidence that supports your answer, and explain why the evidence supports your answer. So you've got one attempt. I think I only said that you could have it one time, so be really careful before you submit it that it's exactly what you want, because um, I think I only have one attempt. So as you go in, you've just got, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, so that's why I thought I better um, show it to you. Uh, so here's your question. Why is photosynthesis? Oh, sorry. What is photosynthesis? And why is it so important? Now you can answer this in one sentence if you want to as far as restating and answering the question. Or if you want to answer it in two different questions, you want to say the reason why or photosynthesis is and then kind of answer that question. And then the reason why it's so important is and then answer that question. So that's just up to you how you want to um, answer that, restate and answer that. But then I want you guys to make sure that you tell me include what the factors that are needed, like what are the things that we need in order to photo, in order to start photosynthesis, and then what is produced? What are the what are the by what's the byproduct of photosynthesis? As far as evidence, you can use my video and the lab that that I showed you on Monday. Um, you can use any information that you find from the YouTube video that you just that you're going to watch today. And you're using those as evidence, okay? So you can tell me what it is, and then you can say this is the reason why it's important, okay? Uh, be sure that you're using reasoning to explain why the evidence that you use supports your answer. Um, I've got a 10,000 word limit down here. There are a few of you guys that like to really write, and so hopefully that's enough. Uh, try to keep it though. I really just want a paragraph. I just want to know that you guys know what photosynthesis is. I mean, there are some really complex things going on, but you don't need to know them in seventh grade. You guys will learn those when you get into high school. Just tell me what it is and why it's important. All right, you guys have a great day today. Do not forget to take your picture of your tree or your bush or whatever that you found that has the little leaves on it. Okay. Don't forget to take your picture. And if I were you, I would go to your calendar and just set a reminder for yourself every single day so you're taking a picture. Remember, this is going to be a three-week project, so you've got to have a lot of pictures um, to show that kind of developing. It's going to be really cool when we put it into a time-lapse video on iTunes or on iMovie, so I'm excited to see them. All right, you guys, have a great day.